Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to introducing concepts related to multi threading. According to interview point of view and real time project development purpose, this concept is very, very, very important. So, up to now lot of videos I uploaded into Naresh IT YouTube channel related to exceptions, related to streams, wrapper classes, packages, string handling and whoops concept, casting like this lot of concept arrays I did cover. But whatever the videos I am going to teach you and I am going to upload from this video onwards, every video is very essential for your interview point as well as project development. So, as a part of multi threading concept, let me introduce what is single tasking or concept is what is single tasking. Before going to talk about single tasking, let me introduce some terminology like uh, procedure. What is procedure? The way of writing instructions using some rules and guidelines is called procedure. The way of writing by using some rules and guidelines is called procedure. For example, if you want to develop one normal Java application, first what we need to write? First we need to write import statements, before that package statements, package statements must and should be first statement and we can write only one statement and import statements we can write from second statement onwards according to our program requirement or our project requirement we can write multiple import statements, later we are defining interfaces, later abstract classes, later final classes, later concrete classes, later main method classes like that we have some procedure. The way of writing instructions, the way of writing instructions are, instructions are code by using some rules and guidelines are called procedure. Now, next one process, process, what is process? Procedure under execution, procedure under execution is called process. Now, observe here very simple, procedure under execution means what is procedure? some rules, some instructions are code or logic, code or logic. So, this logic under the execution is called process. Now, who is going to process our logic? Processor. Who is going to process our logic? Processor. This is one electronic chip level component which is takes input and a processing and gives some response to end user that is what exactly processor. So, procedure means the way of writing instructions or code or logic by using some rules and guidelines. Procedure under execution we can call as process. This process is doing by one electronic chip level component that is what uh, microprocessor simply we can call as processor. Here we need to discuss one more point task the unit of work 
the unit of work or some part of the work part of the work executing by the microprocessor is called task here i am introducing four terminologies what is procedure set of writing some rules writing some instructions logic or code by using some rules and guidelines second one what is process procedure under execution we can call it as process and what is processor the executing the program which is executing by one electronic chip level component that is what microprocessor some part or some unit of work executing by the microprocessor is called task then what is single tasking what is single tasking very simple executing a single task at a time entirely is called single tasking the process of the actual definition is the process of executing executing a single task by microprocessor entirely or completely is called single tasking observe here by seeing the diagram we can analyze each and everything in very simplest manner observe let me take one paint here i am taking one micro i am taking one operating system this is my operating system okay in the operating system i am taking three tasks three different tasks one two and next one is what three now here i am using i am typing something in the notepad and this is a facebook application this is vlc audio player or media player whatever it may be there are three types of works whenever we talk about work definitely that is set of instructions set of instructions facebook also having some set of instructions and vlc media player is also having some vlc media player or audio player whatever it may be having some set of instructions now all these instructions are executing by whom one electronic chip level component that is what here let me take this is microprocessor microprocessor yes i am giving or i am assigning some work to microprocessor yes notepad work will be starting now what happen here the very important point is entire task will be completed what is our de definition the process of executing a single task by the microprocessor completely after completion of the single after completion of the one work only control goes to where here another work now we have a facebook work now facebook work or task entirely completed by the microprocessor and control going to where here vlc media player then vlc media player is going to executing by the microprocessor so what is the mean of this one so i have a three task among the three task how many tasks are going to executing by the microprocessor completely only one task this uh, concept technically called as single tasking then if you have a single tasking what is the problem what is the problem meanwhile of typing notepad something meanwhile of uh, uh, typing code in the notepad i can't listen music meanwhile of listening music my facebook application can't get any message from my friends so at a time how many services can he able to get here 
only one we can't we can't access multiple services we can't access multiple services at a time that is one problem problem number 2 waiting time is more waiting time is more so what is the meaning of waiting time very simple guys assume just a calculations purpose there are three uh, simple tasks are there assume these are, these are three tasks now i am taking here task 1 and this is task 2 and this is what here task 3 there are three tasks assume if microprocessor according to single tasking procedure we can say one thing at a time how many tasks are going to executing exactly one now to execute to completion of this task microprocessor required 45 seconds assume and t2 task purpose 50 seconds just assumption and t3 task just 5 seconds this is very smallest work t3 is what your smallest work only 5 seconds taken by the microprocessor to complete it and now assume if microprocessor if microprocessor will executing only one task at a time whenever t1 task is executing whenever t1 task is executing t2 and t3 must and should be in which mode wait mode whenever t2 tasking executing whenever t2 tasking executing whenever t1 is executing t2 and t3 must and should be in which mode as usual whenever t2 is executing and t3 must and should be in waiting mode now finally t3 task see t1 executing first t2 and t3 is waiting t2 executing second t3 only waiting now chance coming to where t3 task so basically work how much work how much time is t3 task required only 5 seconds only 5 seconds but how much time it will waiting waiting time is 95 seconds and actual execution time execution time is what execution time is only only 5 seconds so to complete its work entirely t3 must and should be spent how much time 100 seconds 100 seconds this is what leads to waiting time if waiting time is increases we guys know that if waiting time is increases we are getting we are getting response very late we are getting response very lately if the response getting very lately next time first time end user using our app second time onwards if our application is giving response very lately is he going to use one more time our application no number of end user will decreases nothing but performance is decreases once the performance is decreases automatically number of end users are decreases see the waiting time waiting time is affected to response and response will affected to performance and performance will will affected to what your number of end users so what should i do i want to avoiding all these problems so the first problem what is single tasking executing only one task entirely is called single tasking whenever one task is executing remaining task must and should be in wait mode so what is the drawbacks we can't access the multiple services at a time and waiting time is increases once waiting time increases we are getting response very lately and once response is coming lately we are considered that application is what here a less performance of an application and once a response coming lately definitely we are going to number of end users are going to decreases that is the one more point and uh, one more important point is there more time microprocessor more time microprocessor sits idle more time microprocessor sits idle so what is the meaning of this one for example let me give one uh, let me give one scenario then assume one student one student came to lab assume this is lab and developing first program developing one program program number one 
after developing this program is assigning that program to whom microprocessor for developing that program student may be be take may be take 5 minutes of time may be take what here 5 minutes of time if you are giving that 5 minutes of work to the microprocessor microprocessor will executing the task within the fractions of seconds nowadays microprocessors are executing millions of instructions per second after all we are writing 10 to 15 lines of code it will uh, within the last time microprocessor will complete the task and taking that uh, our input uh, taking our input as a program as a input and executing our program and finally giving response to end user nothing but output will giving to end user here i mention so processor is what electronic chip level component which is takes input and processing and giving what your response maybe microprocessor will having arithmetical logical unit and uh, uh, register some control units so different difference we have that is a, a different topic so microprocessor will take our program as a input and processing and finally giving what your response nothing but output to the end user within the how many seconds fractions of seconds after that once student uh, getting output he will get some enthusiastic he will maybe happy he is going to developing one more program which which contains some more lines assume now let me go for 15 minutes of program typing so after writing 15 minutes of program we are giving to whom here microprocessor then a microprocessor executing that program within the how much time again within the fractions of second meanwhile of developing program by student around only 15 minutes what is the duty of microprocessor happily sits idle so we are not using microprocessor services in proper manner sits idle means sits idle means we are we are unable to use we are unable to use microprocessor services within proper manner within proper manner within proper manner so these are all disadvantage of single tasking so most of the people knows the definition of single tasking but what is the drawbacks of single tasking the first one is we are unable to use multiple services at a time second one is if one task is executing at a time remaining task must and should be in wait mode that means waiting time is increases and third one is once waiting time is increases we are getting the response very lately that will affect it to performance of an application once performance of an application is decreases number of end users are going to decreases whatever the profit profit is also what going to decrease now whenever we developing one program to hand over the microprocessor in this scenario microprocessor sits idle nothing but we are not using the services of microprocessor in proper manner this is what exactly single tasking single tasking means the process of executing single task are only one task single task are only one task single task are only one task by microprocessor entirely are completely if you go with that thing single tasking we are facing what uh, these many problems to avoiding these many problems we should go for concept like what multitasking i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe naresati channel thank you